All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back with Red Dead 2. Let's, uh, let's go see Sadie, see what she's up to. Still a little bit of a ways off from camp. That's a tree. Interesting. Yeah. Oh shit! Don't you hate old Sonny now? Don't hate him. What? Oh, you struggled and you lost, but it was quite a tussle, I tell you. Quite a tussle, my pet. <laughs> See, friendship ain't so tough, and neither is you. Well, where was that? I think that was right here. Hey, boy. It's time we uh, yep. have another bout of revenge. Second time something like this has happened. Uh, how much is that going to do? took whatever he took from me. I've been in here before. What? Okay, let's uh Go back to camp like we planned. Yep. And we'll just get 
one more sip of that so we can be all full back up. Hey! Over here! Over here! Hello. Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shit. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, well, I waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah. I can't give you more than my thanks. But you surely have that, mister. I'll take it. All right. See you later. Yeah. Back to camp. And we've got another letter at uh at the uh, post office. Master. Back from camp. Yep. They haven't seen me in a while. Okay, squirrel's not gonna do it. Who goes there? I'm coming in. Welcome back. Rest up. I need you strong. How you feeling, Everything Tilly? Okay? Oh, yes. Just doing what I can to help out around here. Thanks, Tilly. Okay. Mrs. Adler. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I... Well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? <laughs> what the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover, or Driscoll boys are coming! Oh shit, okay. Gotta switch up. John, get Jack out of there! Women and children, inside! Rest to you! Hold your ground! Gun down there. It's 
crap. Come on, damn Driscoll. What's happening, Driscoll? Hold Get in here. There. Stay away from the window. Everybody Get in. Pierce. Get inside, fast. Come on, quick. Martha Morgan. Don't let anyone back oh. through that door. Covering you, John. Look, wagon. You're getting overwhelmed. Fall back to the house. Holy damn! Damn! Oh, how Gotta push back. Charles. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. 
away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Okay, holy hell. Let's see, okay, shoot the O'Driscolls in the boat before they disembark. Yeah, just, oh, only using a sidearm. Now, I thought I got more than 15 headshots, though. How you doing, Mrs. Sadie? Adler. Morning, Arthur. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? No reason. Just making sure. Yeah, you, uh, you went a little wild on them. You okay, boy? Hello, boy. All right. Morning, Arthur. You good okay? there? Of course. Why? Well, you always are. Okay. I'm with you um, there. Not much company right now. Miss Grimshaw. Oh, another morning. What would we do without you? Turn feral, I imagine. Just know, we're grateful. Whatever. All right. Let's mount up and uh, go meet Dutch in town. Hey, aren't you cold just like that? You ever miss home? <sighs> sure. How's it going, John? Keep your eyes peeled, Marston. Been quite a ride the past few weeks. Sure has. Well, just gotta keep moving on. I suppose. She is just utterly cut covered in blood. It's insane. Oh, that's a horse. I thought it was still that wagon that we shot up. that trolley station. Actually, let's see, uh, oh, there's some on the map in front of us. Okay, so we can actually check that. And I think we'll help Charles first. Oh my god. Can I, can I help? Help me. What happened to you? Please. What? I need medicine. Here you go. Here. Okay. Uh -huh. Just what happened? that plane over there. It was like a gunshot. Oh. Remember the one with the paint flowers? 
tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Okay. Some things you learn the hard way. Yeah. You can... You can say that again. Oleander Sage. Okay. Oh, pal. in the town. I do need to clean up my horse a little bit. See, Always man? nice to see a returning face. Let's see. Oh no. Later can home ma. My friend, my friend, it is me, Charles Chatonnet, the painter. <laughs> okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. Well, as bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> Okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So repressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why, I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans! I'll never know! This better be the last ridiculous situation I find you in. I shot on the bar! Quick, behind you! We stay behind here! Stay close, my chaperone! <laughs> we are away! Come now, follow me! So you I'm shat on you. their bar. You shat on their bar? But of course, I needed to shit. Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there. Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. 
we go through here? Okay. What's this? Quickly! Oh my god. It's nothing. I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Now get moving, come on. Morning, sir. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but no kinds of brilliance. Not so much. The new kinds? The holy nothing. We go from there. Well, lead the way. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> It would be very boring indeed. I've developed a feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Exactly. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? Who's my impropriety? A mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth, that is something that matters. Look at you, pretty little thing. I know, boys. Come on. Oh, my God. Come on back now, baby. Focus on the task at hand. I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey. Up here, she is my sheep. <sighs> we made it. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 Oh shit, okay, come here. Adiós. Oh, Jesus Christ. Charles, come on, you better hope this ship's leaving soon. Merci, merci. All aboard for the South Pacific! Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir! Oh god, what a no, 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 no. God damn it, Charles. Oh 
Oh no, Arthur, no, Arthur, no, get there. You're almost there. You're almost there. Well, at least I got the police away from us. Of course. Hey. They are pretty scattered monsters. We didn't leave no survivors. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Come on, keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, remember, Come on. we just want money. Don't make us kill you. You Mr. need to give me all your these money. Fine now. folks are their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Thank you, madam. That's your choice. Not mine. Okay. Give me everything you got. My quick. Okay. Fine, it's yours. I said open the gate and let my acquaintance. <laughs> There's nothing much here. What? Of course. There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Oh, shit. Get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Open Behave. the gate. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Move out of the way. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you around! That Let's greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. We try. We try. Follow me, gentlemen! Go now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Okay. Hold them on, fellas. Never really takes long for Look things to pop off, does it? We got some in those alleyways, Arthur. And up on that balcony. Some riders coming on this side. Arthur, cover our left. Let it. Where is it? Look out! Right! Coming out of the back! Swapping over. That bastard must have called in every cop in the city. Ah! Someone can't hit all in! Outside the saloon! Oh damn! We are really moving here! March! Slow us down! Slow this thing down! I'll try! Thanks, broke. Hold on! Oh! 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 
okay. Let's go, boys! I think we're clear. 
You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... $15. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. I mean, he's right. Can't win them all, but still. That was a little insane. Oh my god, $170. Wait, where am I? I'm up here. Camp's down here. Country pursuits. Dutch wants to speak to me. Okay. Yep. Oh my god. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh no. Skin? What plant was that? Oh, a cattail? Yeah, I know it's poor. I sort of shot the alligator in the face. Citizens of the Empire, thank you for joining me on this adventure back into Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm sorry I'm still, you know, a little bit late in the week, but, you know, had some medical stuff to take care of. Uh, when we return, we're going to see what Dutch needs and what that leads to. But I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.